right, all right, all right. So uh, what we have here is a blank, a blank uh, project. So the next thing we're going to do right now is uh, create a, a mixer. This mixer is where we're going to be connecting all our devices to. So um, we're going to right click, right click and uh, go to create. We're going to create a mixer 14.2 right there. So uh, we didn't hold shift while uh, clicking it so it automatically route, routes itself to the uh, main audio in and audio out. So basically we're going to be using two devices to do this tutorial. Uh, we're going to be using a read drum and we're going to be using a matrix pattern sequencer. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to create these devices. We just right click and we go to uh, create. But this time we hold shift because we don't want it to automatically connect itself you know to the to the mixer so we're just going to hold shift and we're going to click on region computer we're going to do the same for our matrix pattern sequencer we're going to go to create uh, matrix should be down right there so yeah hold shift click so uh, the next thing we're going to do right now is to connect these devices to the mixer so we flip to the back you hope you press your tab to flip to the back yeah, so uh, we take the uh, stereo out from the read drum, just connect it to channel 1 on our main mixer. Then we go, okay, let's test whether this thing is working. Uh, our heart is on 8, so if I, if I press, if I click the heart, it should reflect on uh, channel 1. All right, so we the next thing we're going to do right now is, uh, is to connect, if I flip to the back, you connect the gate TV from the matrix to the gate in of the hi hat which is on um, channel eight. So uh, the idea is that uh, the the matrix will be controlling the plane of the hi hat. So uh, that's the basic idea of um, routing the gate CV to the gate in on uh, channel eight. That's our hi hat. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to just show you what uh, this connection will do. If I press the play now, okay, let me turn off the metronome. All right. If I press the play right now, you you would hear the hi hats playing. Yeah. If I run it, the hi hats play. The hi hats are playing using a. They are playing using these gate signals. You can see here. You can see these red bars right here. These are the gate signals that are controlling the hi hat. So basically, if I alter some of these gate signals, uh, let me do something like this. Uh, it alters the plane of the hi hat. You get so ba basically we're using the uh, matrix to play the hi hats in simple terms. We're using the matrix to play the hi hats. So I just uh, undo and do all this. All right. So the next thing we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to set right here. If you look at where my mouse is, we have different patterns. We have pattern one, two, three, down to eight. So we're going to set these different patterns at different resolutions. Resolutions is uh, is just how fast the hats play. So um, for pattern one, we're going to set it at one over eight. Pattern two, one over eighty. Pattern three, one over sixteen. Pattern four, one over sixteen t. Pattern five, one over thirty two. Pattern six, one over sixty four. Pattern seven, one over one twenty eight. For pattern eight, we're, we're going to we're going to remove all the gate signals. We're just going to do this right here. Just drag down, remove all the gate signals. This is going to be our off, basically, when we're playing the hi hat. It's going to be our off signal. So uh, to to show you what uh, resolution does, I'm just going to play for you. Uh, let's go to one. Let me play. Let me just run it through. If I if I play two, you see that the resolution changes. It's faster. If I play three. So uh, seven is like uh, the fastest. You understand? So and uh, if I play eight, it just stops. You, you you don't hear any sound. You don't hear any sound. So that's like our off. So uh, uh, the next thing we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to set our time signature to one over four right here. We'll set it to one over four. 
we set to 1 over 4 then uh, we're going to set our tempo to uh, let's say 90 90 90 why because uh, uh, most uh, trap songs dwell dwell in that uh, in that field if I put on uh, the metronome and play you can uh, something like this comes to mind uh, yeah started from the bottom now we yeah. Started from the bottom, now my whole team freaking here. Boys, tell stories about the man. You understand? Most of our trap songs, you know, dwell in that mid range from 90, uh, maybe to like 80 to 100, thereabout. They dwell in that mid range. So 90 is a very cool tempo to do a trap beat. So uh, I told you I would explain to you why we set the time signature to 1 over 4. Don't worry, I'll explain to you later on. All right. So we've succeeded in. Um, Changing the resolutions of our different patterns. If I click on one, you can see it's on one over eight. I change to two. You can see in the resolution that it keeps on changing up to seven and eight is our off. So uh, the the next next thing we're going, I'm just going to show you what we're trying to do. You know, using our mouse so that you can appreciate the tutorial a little bit. If you had like a kick, uh, okay. If we had like a kick and a snare in the background and um, we had this uh, metronome going on, you can do something like. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm this is just like a small, uh, uh just. For you to appreciate what we're trying to do this is basically what we're trying to do all right so the next thing we're going to do right now is to program these are different uh patterns uh at different resolution these patterns we put at different resolutions onto uh a controller this controller can be your laptop your your midi keyboard your bit pad whatever it is so the way to do is that you right click on one let's say pattern one you go to uh if you're using a keyboard like your computer keyboard you can go to uh, keyboard override mapping and uh, you can just set uh, set the uh, just press any key you want it can be your uh, alphabets or numbers whatever you want so uh, right now we're just going to be using uh, we're going to, I'm going to use Q W E R and A S D F as I'm going to use right now so we have our Q and click OK all right uh, if we were if you had a, like an external controller would we'll right click and go to a uh, edit remote override mapping you make sure the learn from control surface input is, is on and uh, if your external controller is, con is uh, connected it would reveal it would uh, indicate something here there'll be a, an indication when you press a, a key either your bit pad or your keyboard or whatever it is it will indicate in this bar right here but right now we're using a, a keyboard just a normal computer keyboard to do this uh, tutorial yeah. So uh, I cancel this. Then we go to two, two. Uh, we go to edit keyboard control mapping. Put that to W. And uh, go to three. E. Four. R. Then we go to five. A. Six S seven D eight F. So uh, basically, we programmed it, and if our programs are working, but um, when anytime we press any of these letters, or if it's an external controller, anytime you press um, any of those not beat pads or your keyboard this light should move indicating that uh, it's changing uh, the patterns as you're pressing those buttons and also the resolution will change along with it so if i press q is on one w e r a s d f you can see that i'm not using my mouse to select it i'm just using the keyboard so q yep everything is working and you can see the resolution changing here as we press this different uh uh buttons all right so we're game we're game we're game we're just going to do basically the same thing we did before only this time we're going to be using 
our external controller to control it. So uh, basically, uh, this is exactly what we've been trying to do. You know, if you had a kick and a snare and some, you know, synths going on in the background, you know, and you just, you can use this, this method to lay your hi-hats seamlessly. I, I told you before that I was going to tell you why we set the, uh, the time signature to one over four. Well, this is the reason. Um, it helps us switch faster between resolutions, between patterns. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, if, if, you, if you, while I'm switching, uh, watch the light right here. Just watch the light. You see that it is slower. The, the light reflects, but the, the player does not respond as fast as the light does. It's like it has to complete the bar, the, the four beats in the bar, before it uh, responds. Uh, so I'm going to set it back at the uh, default. Set it back at the default. That's four over four. And... Uh, just watch, watch the light. We'll just watch the light. Just and see that you will see that it lags while we're switching. Can you see? We're at two now, but it just got to two right now. If you go to like a seven, it just got to seven right now. You go to four, it takes a while. And one three, it just changed. You understand? So it, it, it lags if it's on four over four because it has to complete the four bits in the bar or something related to that. So uh, it's always best we put it at uh, one over four. This helps uh, us switch between our uh, patterns easily. It helps us switch easy. Yeah, so some of you are probably asking, you know, okay, after doing all this, you know, how do we bring it onto the song onto the beat onto the, the playlist the sequencer whatever it is you call it well uh it's very simple you know the same way you record yourself playing a keyboard or record or yourself playing uh percussions or whatever it is a recording you can record uh these are uh, movements you can record all these movements onto the playlist onto the playlist so we just go to our sequencer and uh we record that's as easy as that So, uh, as you can see, what we recorded is right here. Uh, basically, what is just recording is the change in patterns. You can see the lights changing here. So, uh, that's, that's uh, if you had a beat going on already with a lot of things going on in the background, now this would just be like the icing, the icing on the cake. This will just be the icing on the cake, you know, just to give it that trap, trap feel, trap feel. So, uh, uh, I, I, I did it for one of my, one of my songs. So, uh, you probably need to hear the song so you can appreciate this tutorial all the more. All right. So, so, so you're probably saying, oh, okay, okay. It's not a bad tutorial, but what's, what's the use of this tutorial? Well, if we were not using this method to key in our, to play our hi-hats, we'll be doing something like this. We'll go to, uh. Okay, um, matrix already muted. We'll be going to our uh, uh, read drum. We'll go to our read drum and uh, we'll, we'll be doing something like this. We'll create a, a clip. You um, press the alt and create a clip. You double click and you know you start laying laying your hats. You know one by one. Okay, our snap is already on one of our sixty four. Let's put it on one of our 16 so we can you know, be snappy about it. So we'll, be, we'll probably be doing something like this. And then if we want something you know, more, a, little, a little bit more you know, drastic, a little more exciting, we'll change the, the snap to one of our 32, then we'll do something like this. And then even more drastic can change to one of our 64. Zoom in again. 
zoom in again and do something like uh, this. And you know, if you want to get you know, crazy, they will do something like this. Um, and then you can have something like this. You know that <laughs> that it will take you that amount of time, you know, to to play that. You understand? So this this is where the, this tutorial you no know, excels. I mean, you just play it normally, and you get a very you no know, dynamic heart progression. A very dynamic heart pro progression. You understand? So this is uh this is the importance of this tutorial. You know, if, if you want just if you want to enjoy your hi hats as the beat is going on, you'll probably use this tutorial. All right. So the next thing we're going to do right now is uh, you might be saying, okay, so I have to go through all this process just to play my hi hat. Well, actually, you don't have to go through all this process because you can just save this patch. You just save the patch so the next time you need it, you just load it up. So okay, we have our matrix. We're just going to click our matrix, uh, click our our read drum. Make sure you hold sh um, control while clicking so that they can uh, select both and themselves. Then uh, you right click and go to combine, and then you just go and save it as a patch. So whenever you need it, you just load it up. So we go to save patch, and uh, we can name it. Uh, uh, let's call it trap. All right, let's call it trap hi hat. Let's call it trap hi hat. So we can just save it. We can just save it and uh and if assuming okay, we just open a, a song, a new song. I wanted to load up these are uh, hi hats. You understand? Assuming this wasn't there, we'll just uh, right click, uh, uh, create a combinator, hold shift while clicking so that it doesn't uh, auto route itself. And we just go to load up, load up. Uh, I saved it on the desktop so I can easily reach it. So I'm just going to look for that. Yeah, these are trap hi hats. All right. So you see, it is right here. Everything is right here. The only thing you will need to do actually is just reprogram it because you those the programming we did before it doesn't save along. With the patch it doesn't save along so all you just have to do is reprogram it you know right click go to edit remote or control override and press whatever key you want to use to control it and blah 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 that's all you need to do that's all you need to do so you don't have to every time you want to do something like this you know start the whole process again no you don't have to do that the only thing you need to do is load it up and uh and, and uh, program your the 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 buttons again to play the hi-hats that's all you need to do